Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder here with a review request of the Deluxe Common Rider Kiva Belt. Um, this is a review request from Spider Vic 24 so thank you for this request. Um, this is my first Common Rider belt review in a while, so let's get started. First I'll go over the belt itself without the electronic features. Now the belt itself is done in a red just like Kiva um, is in the show. It's not as great looking as Kiva's. Um, it's kind of plasticky and kitty looking, but at least there's some nice details to give the illusion of a chain. And then also it comes with the little holsters which you just put on. It has some chain motifs. And then obviously the fusils. Um, if I'm pronouncing it wrong according to you, um, I don't know. The fusils, because I've heard several different ways to pronounce it. I just pronounce it fusils. And then this little thing to attach it if you're a small Asian child and you can wear it. Um, I haven't really got a chance to customize this yet. I don't really know why, but I just haven't customized it yet to wear it. But, so, that's what you use. Okay, so that's pretty standard for the belt. Alright, here's Kivat himself. Um, he looks really nice. Um, like, lifelike, I guess. Um, he, he just feels really nice in your hand and he looks like the show. Um, let's see, what else can I say about it? Oh, his wings fold out, which is nice. It's a nice feature, so you can kind of have him looking like that. And the nice details all in here. And his eyes look nice and his mouth opens, obviously. But overall, just himself, he looks really nice. Okay, so for the electronic features, there's a little switch here. Just put it on. Um, on. It'll say something. Alright, so for his feature, when you push this, it'll say bite, which is gabu. And then if you push it three times, it'll say a phrase. So I'll do demonstrate a few of those. Alright, so you get the... Oh, he keeps talking. Alright, um, you get the gist of it. It's, it's, it's a nice feature. There's a lot of different sounds you can mess around with. Um, I guess if you get this as a little surprise or, or whatever you want to see the other features, I'm not going to spend all the time showing them all. It'll take a while. Alright, anyway, so to do the henchin, just push this again and then push his um, fangs in and it'll start making the henchin noise. And his eyes will light up like that. Nice, accurate, clear sound. Attach his feet here. Put it down. And his eyes will glow red for a few seconds. So it's pretty nice. Alright, so let's go over the fusils. Now something I noticed, I've seen a few other reviews of this that only showed the one sound, but I've noticed that these basically have two sounds. When you put them in, they have one that sounds kind of bored, and then one that sounds, um, which just sounds, you know, more like the show and more uh, upbeat. So you push this little button under him, and this will lift up. Sometimes during the review, just because of space, I might just flip his mouth up, just so you know. Alright, so here's the wake up fusil, so it's clear. And got the red little uh, design here. So just put it in here, and then slam it down on his teeth. So that's the board one. Let me see if I can get it to do the more excited one. There we go. See, that one sounded much more peppy. I don't know the exact formula to get it. If someone knows how you're supposed to uh, go between the sounds better than just pushing it a bunch of times. Alright, here's Castle Dran. Yeah, let's put it in. I'm just going to flip that up. It's easier. Put it down. That's the board one, once again. Alright, let's see if I can get the excited one. There we go. Seems to be four times, I don't know why. Right. Get just to that. And then we have Baron Booster. Do the board one first. Alright. There we go. This is the more excited one. Now let's get to the forms. There's Guru Loose. Alright. That actually sounds like the more upbeat one. See? It's pretty cool. It um, stays lit up for a little bit, which is really nice. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I can't seem to get the different one on that one. But you get the idea. Alright, Basher Magnum, or Basher Magnum, excuse me. Let me try. Yeah, that's the more bored one. It seems to be doing it reverse with these. 
And then there, as you can see, is the green eyes. Soak it in. All right, now time for Daga. Okay. I think that might be the more bored one. And then they kind of glow purple, which is nice. Let's see if I can get the other one. There we go. That's more excited one. All right. Oh, sorry. Triggered it again. All right, well, so that's it for the main sounds, which is something I didn't discover until, like, maybe a day after I got the belt that it had two different sounds. So I'm pretty happy that it has the more excited version. And you can interchange uh, the different fusils from the Ixa belt and the Dark Kiva belt. The Dark Kiva ones will make the same sound since they're basically the same thing. The different sounds are programmed into Dark Kiva. And I think the Ixa ones might make a few different ones. Um, if someone wants to see that, I'll put up a, a video update of what the Ixa ones sound like. But I do have this from the Ixa riser, which will make the sound um, as if you were putting uh, Tossalots in here, since I don't have Tossalot. So there you have that. So if you have Tossalot, it'll make the same sound, I believe. So um, that's about it for the sounds. It's a really nice belt. I really like it. Um, I'm a big fan of Kiva, so I'm glad I got it. I got it in the... Um, the Hobby Link sale that happened uh, maybe a month ago, it was like, it was like half off or like 70% off or something crazy like that. So I got it for like 12 bucks. So I was pretty happy about that because I almost bought it um, like last Christmas time. Um, and I had to decide between this and Dark Kiva and I got Dark Kiva. So regardless, if I would have gotten it at a full price, I still would have been happy with it. It's a great belt. It's got a lot of features. I really like it a lot. Um, once you can customize it, it looks pretty good on. Um, you can also, one thing I know is there's a store on Yahoo Japan that makes really cool custom belts. Uh, attachments that look a lot better, so that's pretty nice. So overall, great belt. I give it a 9 out of 10. As I said, if someone wants to see the Ixa sounds, um, I'll do an update video. And then also, I also have the Ixa Saga and Dark Kiva belts, if anyone would like to see those. I've seen a lot of other reviews of those, so I didn't initially put some out there, but if anyone would like to see it from me, just put a request at the bottom. So um, until my next review, this is Dawson Rider, signing out.